I want to talk about the the opening sequence here where uh, QS and Tone uh, steal the idol off of the Deus in the in the temple or whatever it is uh, cave. Um, this is a blatant rip off of that same scene from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I threw a twist in it instead of um, having you know the little bag of sand that he swaps out for the idol. I had QS pull out a brick. Uh, originally, I had this this uh, like gimmick I wanted to throw into the video where QS has this satchel and he pulls out whatever he needs out of it. Uh, kind of like Felix the cat with the magic bag, I guess. Uh, that was my plan originally. I was going to throw in some more gimmicks like that into the video, but uh, I just did the brick and I stopped with the brick. So um, that's that's what the deal is with the brick. The part where I uh, I introduced the characters and I, I stopped the, uh, the video and um, add this caption with their names. That was uh, was kind of borrowing from the uh, Wiley e. Coyote Roadrunner um, cartoons that kind of had that gimmick in it, where they uh, you know stop and and put like you know Wiley e. Coyote's name at the bottom. Um, I was kind of going for that. Uh, just just thought it was funny to to just put these guys in in the wilderness um, and have. Uh, QS with the machete chopping his way through the brush and um, and Tone with the map and the compass and, and, and I don't know what the hell we're well, I don't know where the hell we're at kind of you know uh, expression um, that's basically what I was going for that and I want to stretch out the time of the video so that uh, when he, when QS actually picks up the brick off of the DS um, is when Tone says "blow" in the in the song. So uh, that's what I was going for, and that's kind of why I added that little extended sequence where I introduced the characters. The uh, the actual sets for this scene, uh, they are it's simply three pieces of plywood that I had uh, screwed together. I cut an archway out. It's kind of a sloppy archway for you know like a cave entrance or whatever. Um, it's just three walls. I screwed it together using plywood and I painted it using that uh, there's a texture type paint that's available like at hardware stores or craft stores that looks like stone. Um, I coated the walls with that stuff and uh, some of the props like the DS where the, the golden idol is and, um, and the boulder. Uh, the boulder is actually one of those big um, um, play balls that you know kids have. I had like a Mickey Mouse character or something on it. I don't remember what it was. Um, I just primer. I sprayed that ball with primer paint, and um, um, I put that uh, stone texture paint all over that exercise ball or whatever it was. It was like one of those character balls. I don't know what, quite what they're called, but it's just a big, huge ball. Um, and uh, that's that's what that is. Uh, the thing kept wanting to run away. The ball kept wanting to roll away on the uh, the set. So I had to use some uh, sticky texture type stuff to keep it in place as it as it rolled. When I shot that clip of them running out of the the temple cave thing, um, I think that's all it is. Uh, this is the first time I ever practiced with the technique I have. I, I showed it in another video where I demonstrate how to remove the stand from uh, characters that are running or walking. Um, I'll put a, a, a link to that if you're interested in how I made them look like they're running without anything supporting them. Um, like I said, this is the first time I tried it. Uh, this video was actually a big learning process for me. I learned a lot by making this video. So um, if you ever really want to learn something, um, try to creatively solve your problems. That's really my advice. Uh, that's what I did, and that's how I came up with that technique. Um, it's probably more work than I needed to do, but uh, with what I had at the time for software and, and whatnot, it, it worked. So, um, like I said, uh, if you don't have like you know the top of the line special effects software or whatever, you get creative with your your solutions, and um, really that's what it's all about. It's all about learning and 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 learning to um, work with what you have. Okay, this is the uh, the process involved in doing this whole car chase sequence. Um, I think this was the most time consuming element of creating this video. Um, if you watch, the, uh, the the wheels are spinning on the Jeep, the uh, the trees are flying by. Um, 
It's uh, it's kind of an optical illusion that I, I, I made up as I went along. Um, I Basically, all I did was I moved the wheels on the, the Jeeps. Uh, I turned them, I think, one twelfth of a turn. I was shooting at 12 frames per second. So uh, I would shoot, I, I would shoot, turn the wheel, the the wheels on the the actual tires on the on the Jeep. I would turn them about a twelfth of a turn, and then uh, move the trees in the background three inches to the right, and um, that's how I got the illusion that the characters were moving and the trees were sitting still. It's actually the other way around. The characters are sitting still, the Jeeps are sitting still, and the trees are moving. Um, that was probably the most time consuming. I had to get this rhythm down where I move the trees, move the wheels, and then do my character animation. And uh, once I got that rhythm down, I actually had to write it on my hand. I, I, I got an ink pen and I wrote it on my hand so I wouldn't screw it up. Um, there's a couple little flubs in it. Uh, I get criticized a lot about this this clip simply because it's so much easier to do it if I if I had had um, a program like um, uh, After Effects at the time. Uh, I didn't have After Effects. I didn't even know how to use After Effects at the time. I could have shot this against a green screen, moved the trees, you know, whatever. Um, I actually did everything practical in camera with the uh, the animation for this. So. Uh, the trees are moving. There, there's no, you know, projected backgrounds or anything like that. Um, so yes, it was time consuming. It took me about three or four weeks of working about six hours a day just to shoot the sequence with the uh, the, the whole car chase thing. And uh, it was a tremendous learning experience. And I think if I ever shot a car chase again, I would probably do it the same way, simply because um, I. I like I said, it's it's a learning experience, and I like the way it looks. It looks and feels like you're there. The trees are moving by. It it doesn't look fake or projected or contrived. Um, you know, I, I like I said, I get a lot of flack from people who are special effects artists or animators or whatnot that because you know, well, it looks fake. Well, it is fake. It's it's a freaking animation. I'm I'm playing with action figures in front of a camera and I'm moving them, you know, subtly between each frame. Um, but yeah, that's how I did the 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 car chase there. Uh, like I said, it was it was a long process, but uh, I, I like the way it turned out in the end, and, and it's really impressive to me. The trees I used in this uh, scene, this clip, are uh, actually just uh, I think they're one and a, one and three quarter inch wooden dowels that I drilled holes in along the length and stuffed pieces from a plastic fern into the holes. Uh, if, you, if you saw the, the, the picture, um, I, they don't even go all the way up to the top of the trees. Um, I didn't have the trees when I first started. I, I wanted to create this jungle and so I had these little pieces of fern that I stuffed into the, that uh, styrofoam stuff for um, like florists use. Um, it didn't really work but for the opening scenes for the opening shots I, I just didn't feel like redoing them and adding the trees so uh, I just <laughs> you'll notice I got more and more foliage as the video went on and by the time it was done it looked more like a, a jungle or a wilderness than when I started um, the reason why is because I kept figuring out new and better ways to make trees and, and bushes and whatnot for uh, for use in this and uh, they, they weren't really, you know, they're just uh, wooden dowels that I screwed to a piece of, of uh, fiberboard and um, stuffed uh, pieces of fern, little pieces of plastic fern, um, into the uh, into the holes along the length, and that's how the trees came about.